Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Brittany Miller. I'm Eric Lanskerner. Our top story tonight, charges are dropped against a former Stanford therapist accused of sexually assaulting two clients. Prosecutors are saying the women no longer wanted to testify. News 12 Connecticut's kind of Marissa Alter reports tonight from Stanford Superior Court. The trial for Alexander Pino was set to start this morning. A jury had already been chosen last week. Instead, today the judge dismissed all five counts of second degree sexual assault that Pino was facing. Alexander Pino had mixed emotions after his hearing. Happy with the result in court, frustrated it took so long to get there. I thought I would be excited and jumping and, and thrilled, but, but in reality I'm very sad. Stanford police first arrested Pino in November 2017 on allegations he sexually assaulted a client in his office back in 2013. Police said a month after the arrest, another client came forward. She reported a consensual sexual relationship with Pino while he was her therapist, which led to more charges. I was innocent the day they brought those charges against me. I've been innocent for six years. Tuesday morning, prosecutors told the judge they could not move forward with the case. They said one of the women was no longer sure she'd been sexually assaulted by Pino, and the other became hesitant to testify after learning the first would not. The state continued to try to make a case where there was no case, and at the end it fell apart. So they had no choice but to move to Nolly, which means don't prosecute anymore. We moved for dismissal, and it was granted. Pino thanked his attorney for fighting for him. He said his prior lawyers advised him to take a plea deal. Mr. Pino was exonerated, and exoneration in America and anywhere in the world is a big thing. Pino was in private practice at the time of his arrest. He was also a social worker at Greenwich Public Schools, which fired him from the position. State records show he gave up his social worker license in 2018. I'm going to try to um, get my license back and do what I'm passionate about. The dismissal means prosecutors cannot bring this case against Pino again in the future. In Stanford, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.